Hey guys, it's Shaylee. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. I feel so fancy schmancy in front of my new, or I've had this wallpaper, but in front of this wallpaper with my new couch. I always get so many questions about this wallpaper. I will link it down below along with all the products I talk about today like I always do. But yeah, I just thought my vanity used to be here. And when I added this couch in here, I thought this would be so cute for YouTube videos like to sit here and film. So let me know what you guys think. I am tirelessly working on my beauty room if you didn't know i'm 23 weeks pregnant and so i'm like trying to bust through all of my to-do lists we have till november but clock is ticking honey i feel like it's just going by so quick so i will be making a video all about my beauty room make sure you're following me on instagram i'll be sharing photos before i'm all done with it and everything the progress anyways today's video is a beauty favorites i usually do kind of a mixed favorites video like random home decor some food I just wanted to really hone in and do beauty today because A, I run out of breath quick right now, so I didn't want this video to be like an hour long, but also because I haven't done a favorites video since January, I feel like I already had so much to talk about. I really just wanted to make it, you know, special and about beauty, which is like the core of my channel. So we're talking about makeup and we're talking about skincare. I've got 14 products for you guys, so let's just get started. Okay, I am ready. I am ready. I talked about this company for the first time back in November. I actually partnered with them for a couple months doing like sponsored videos and they reached back out to me and I'm so excited to work with them again. And this is not a sponsored video. I just really love them. So it's in my favorites. I've been wearing all their fragrances for months now since November. So the company is Dossier and what they do is they basically make dupes of famous perfumes that are more affordable. My favorite one is called Citrus Green Apple for summer, for like summertime right now. And it is a dupe of my favorite Dolce & Gabbana light blue fragrance. Oh, see, I'm already running out of breath. This one is $29 for the exact same amount as this one's 82. Yeah, it's just kind of like crazy that they can do that. Plus, um, since it's online and they're based out of the UK, you can order these, they send them to you and they give you like a little tester that you can spray out and wear for a couple days. Make sure you love it before you open this actual bottle. So that way, if you don't like it, I can't even remember, but I want to say you can ship it back for free. Like they pay the postage, which is insane. I do have a discount code. Like I said, I'm not working with them on this video and I haven't since January. So I don't know if it still works, but if it does, it's Shaylee Glazer 10 for 10% off. Okay. So if you missed my last makeup based video, it was a foundation routine for summer and features this foundation. This is called the NARS natural radiant Longwear foundation. So I used to be super oily. Now I would say I'm more just like normal. This is a natural skin skin finish, but I still feel like you can get a matte look with this if you set it with powder, if you're more oily, you know, if you use good primer, that kind of thing. But I like to mix this down with a um, face and body from MAC or just like a little oil to make it even more spreadable. But today I did it just how it comes to show you guys and you can get so much coverage. I literally use like two little doo -doo, like two little squirts of this stuff and it is amazing. The reason that this really started standing out to me was because I bought it back in like January and we were wearing masks and it didn't rub off as bad on my mask and like on my nose area as much as all the other foundations I had been wearing did. And I just feel like it lasts. Like I put this on this morning around 10. Right now I think it's about five o'clock and I have gone out in like the 100 degree weather, ran errands, all that stuff and it's still totally lasting. So some of the key claims are um, 16 hour wear, lightweight, buildable, full coverage and natural finish. These are another product I talk about in that foundation routine video because I use these every single day right now. I didn't put it on today because I wanted to do it on camera with you guys. They come like this where you can get a variety of colors. This little three pan is um, $64, but if you just want to choose one color, I think they have about six. This one's $48 for this bigger size. So you can see next to each other. I just like to show you guys the different options because I know a lot of you are probably shopping online. This is awesome because it's not a highlighting powder, like, like a metallic shimmery powder. It's more of like a glow. Like I feel like it gives you a lip from within glow. I talk about it in a lot more detail in that foundation routine video if you wanna see it. But like, you'll see what I mean right now. Like when I put it on, it just makes you look so awake. I'm using it like as a placement of a highlighter right now, but sometimes I'll set my entire under eye with this. I'll put it on the balls of my cheeks, the apples, that sounds prettier. Um, if you're oily, don't put it right here. Keep it kind of away from your pores. Put it on my nose, on my forehead. Like, I just love this stuff. I think it is so pretty. For my skin tone, this really natural color is luminous light. 
There's a ton of different ones though, so there's something for everybody. Okay, next I want to talk about a brow product. I freaking love this stuff. It is so pretty. So this is called Fiber Gel. Wait, what's it called? Big Boost Fiber Gel. This is from MAC. I have two different colors, fling and lingering. So like blonde if you're fling, <laughs> fling if you're blonde, lingering if you're brunette. I think they have five or six colors, so there's definitely a variety you can choose from. Those are just like my favorite go-tos. If you didn't know I'm a makeup artist, so oftentimes I'll have like multiple colors and people probably wonder why if you are new to my channel, but it's because I pulled these out of my freelance makeup kit. So where I live, I do a lot of wedding makeup and I love lately putting this in people's eyebrows who have like those beautiful, wispy, fluffy brows. And I don't want to totally fill them in and make them look too blocky. I'll use it on myself from time to time too, but I like a more filled in look. So I use other products in conjunction with it. If you have those brows where you just want to like run something through it for summer, give a little hold to it, add a little tint to it. That's, that's why I love this so much because it has those little fibers in it. Almost like if you've ever used a lash primer, you know, the white lash primers, that's almost what this has in it. It gives them a polished look without being overdone. Okay, next product is also a brow product. It's from Anastasia. If I didn't mention, those are $23. This is also $23. <sighs> I cannot freaking breathe, you guys. It is so annoying. I feel like I need to lean back. Like, let's chill. Let's chill like this for this, um, this little spiel here. So this is called the Brow Freeze from Anastasia. It's a clear brow gel. The thing that makes this different than like the one that's like in a mascara tube that we all know about is this is like an extreme hold. It's like a goopier feeling, but what I like to do is take a spoolie brush, either press it on the back of this lid or I'll press it on my hands so that I don't have too much product on the spoolie and then run it through my brows and it just like, it's like hairspray. Like it just keeps them up so well. So again, like that previous product, if you have really nice brows and you don't really want much, this would be something you would love. That's just a little bit stronger hold than like your typical brow gel. I really like it because I don't have those really nice fluffy brows, but this makes me have that look. It has like enough hold to get them up and more like spiky look. Okay, next I'm gonna talk about an eyeshadow. This is from Natasha Denona and it's just a black matte eyeshadow, but it is the best black eyeshadow you will ever use. How much is this guy? This guy's 29. So I have the matte one. It also comes with one in one that's called Gold Rush that has like little gold flecks in it. The reason I love this is because it is so matte, it is so black, and it doesn't fall down all over the place. So I love Smoky Liner. That's like one of my favorite makeup looks. And so I love taking this on like a little pencil brush or like a flat definer brush, kind of like an angled brush but more flat, and you'll just like smoke out your liner with this. And it, for some reason, I don't know why, it's just really soft, the powder. So it doesn't like, it's not chunky falling all over your cheeks. You know what I mean? Which normally black eyeshadow has a lot of fallout. Cause I think that's what a lot of people are afraid of with black. Like, oh my God, I'm gonna look like a panda. This stays where you put it. Definitely worth 30 bucks. Cause you will have this guy forever. Like this is a huge black eyeshadow. So next is this product from Clinique. It is called the Airbrush Concealer. Mac used to use or used to make prep and prime pen. They still make them. I have one right here, obviously, but they used to make one called Radiant Rose and it was pink. There's like peach, yellow, and what it does is cancel out blue, green, like purpley undertones under your eyes or, you know, wherever you need color correction. For some reason, they don't make the pink one anymore, or at least I can't find it, the Radiant Rose. So I went on the hunt to find a similar product because I love using something like this in summer. That way you don't need like full on um, concealer. Like you can just throw a little color corrector under your eyes that's pink and it brightens things right up. If you're fair skin, you would like pink. If you are more tan, you know, deep skin tone, there's tons of colors at MAC of this one that you would like or Clinique also has like three or four other colors. So there's something for everyone. I did use this in my foundation routine video. So if you wanna see how I use it, Again, refer to that video just so you can actually see me putting it on and blending it out and how it works. Okay, this is the last makeup product and then we have some hair and skin. So NARS blush, again, in my foundation routine video, I use this. I'm wearing this today. This is the color Luster. I feel like NARS is known for orgasm, like a pink shimmer. This one is definitely more of a light orange, but it is so pretty if you want that like bronzy, peachy look. I love wearing it with this kind of a lip tone that has an orangey nude. I think it pairs really well. I had a shit ton of this on in my foundation routine video. I love blush, so 
I kind of feel like no regrets, no shame, but I just remember editing it like, yeah, you're talking about how you have a ton of blush on, you have hella blush on, girl. This just gives you, again, kind of like that hourglass powder. I feel like this gives you like a glowy from within look, and I just love it so, so much. And these last all day, like on your skin. Okay, this is a hair product. It's called Hot Toddy. It is a heat protecting mist. I got this in my, I think I got it in my Ipsy box, maybe Fab Fit Fun, but something like that. Like I didn't go searching for this. I just got it in one of those subscription boxes and I tried it. Went on Instagram and raved about it like the second day, maybe even the first day I used it because it made that big of an impact, like that big of a difference on me. So like I said, it's a heat protectant, it's an aerosol. So I literally go through, my hair almost needs to be washed, so please don't judge it right now. But I go through and I spray every single piece, brush it through and curl it or straighten it, whatever I'm doing. I wear extensions too. Even before extensions, it bothered me, but with extensions, they're so smooth and my real hair is so coarse. So I had a really hard time like getting my hair to look smooth so it would kind of blend. And I feel like this really helps smooth all those flyaways down and protect my hair while I am growing it out. The one complaint I've heard is that people don't like the smell. So I was like, what is the actual tone or um, notes? Like what are people not liking? The notes are coconut, amber, and vanilla. Like how can you not like that? I don't think it's necessarily people not liking the smell. I think maybe it's just very fragrant and some people don't like that. I personally love it so much. Like I think it smells so good. It's one of the first things I noticed. Yeah, I think like it's almost a nostalgic smell for me. But if you don't like a lot of fragrance, maybe skip on this guy. But I've noticed my hair is way smoother looking when I wear this. Like I will never, ever run out of this. Now we're moving on to skin products. So the next one is great for summer. It's an oil control moisturizer. I have used this for literally 10 years. It's called Cetaphil Pro Derma Control Oil Absorbing Moisturizer. It has SPF 30 in it. So it's great for summer. Um, you just don't want to get in your eyes. That is one thing. Like I used to just put this on kind of without paying attention. Now my lab's in here. It's just getting all loud in here. It's a party. I am back. <laughs> I got, now I've got a new baby with me. Come here, Mella. This is Ellie. She's my oldest baby girl. She's my oldest one. Hi, honey girl. Um, just make sure you don't get in your eyes and <laughs> make sure if you are using it for like a wedding day or an event. Um, sometimes sunscreen can have flashback, but just make sure you use like bronzer and powder and all those things on top of it and you'll be totally fine. So this is just like a go-to for me in the summer. Okay, so I went down the Soap and Glory aisle at Target. They used to sell Soap and Glory when I worked at Sephora and I loved their hand cream. <laughs> Rosie's right here, if you can hear more stuff. I'm so sorry, I hope it's not like the most distracting thing in the world. I'm just like, we're a pack. Like they're my babies, they're always with me. So I don't know what to do. Like they're just always around in my video. Anyways, they used to sell Soap and Glory at Sephora when I worked there. So I was obsessed with their hand cream. It was called Hand Food, but I hadn't used it in so long. I haven't seen any of their newer products. So I went and checked them out a couple months ago and I saw this vitamin C facial wash. I just wanted something simple, like an all-in-one. I could just like throw on my face. I wanted something brightening and that would take off my makeup because I am so lazy. Like I don't wanna sit there and like wipe off my makeup, use a makeup wipe, then use a cleanser, then do this and that. Like sometimes I will take my time, but for the most part, I am so tired at night, like especially lately, I just want to like make sure all my makeup's off and that my skin isn't dry. So that's what this does for me. As you can see, I've had this since February. That's all I've used. Like this is gonna last you forever and it's so affordable. I think it's like $10. It has these little micro beads in it too that kind of like burst on your skin. And it's just really refreshing. It has like a light citrusy smell. It's delicious. I think it's yuzu. Yeah, yuzu super fruit in it. And then while I was there, I grabbed this Best Washes Uplifting Fragrance Expertly Designed to Uplift the Senses body wash and I love this too just because honestly the fragrance it smells delicious this kind of reminds me of the hand food I just shaved my legs with this this morning and I can tell you it is very uplifting when you're like sudsing up with this in the shower so this one's only $8.99 for this giant guy we are almost done we got three products next I have been like dousing myself in moisturizer and oils and stuff these two are for your face I also put them on my hands when I'm done, like just anything left over. But let's talk about this one first. This is from Pharmacy. It's called the Honey Grail. And I got this in, I think, my Ipsy. Sometimes I'm so surprised because I just love things that come in there. Ipsy is knocking it out of the park for me. 
but this is called an ultra hydrating face oil and it's like thick like honey but it absorbs quick so this is the one I use at night if I want like a lot of hydration and it just makes me feel like I just had this amazing facial I'll like put it on put up my hands go to sleep and I feel like I wake up and my skin just looks so plump and nice so some of the key claims were that it was a lightweight oil and it was non-commutogenic five flower oil blend. When I was reading it, this was like one of those clean at Sephora brands. Everything I've been trying from pharmacy, I've loved so much. So if I want something a little bit lighter, I grabbed this from Earth Harbor. Again, Ipsy Box Find. It's called Marina Biome Brightening Ampule, Spirulina and Blue Tansy. And it's just like the best smelling stuff like this is one of my favorite smelling skincare products ever i just love the smell for some reason and this one for me is way more lightweight than even this one so if you're oily maybe try this i just i love it and it's supposed to be brightening honestly i've only been using it probably like two months so i can't really attest to like oh my god it's changed my skin but all the reviews were really great and i feel like i've been loving it and i'm just all about the brightening lately especially being pregnant Hang on, I need to take a breath, jeez. <sighs> if you didn't know, another thing that happens to you when you're pregnant is your hormones um, make your skin, like your sunspots will be darker, you'll get pregnancy mask, things like that. So anything brightening, I'm like all about. Dun dun dun, last thing. It is human plus kind skincare with a conscience moisturizing hand scrub. Again, not to be a broken record, I think I got this in my FabFitFun box. This just reminded me when I was really little, I was like 11. My stepmom loved Bath and Body and I remember we went in there and they used to have like this jar of hand scrub and you would like put it on with a little, you know, like popsicle stick in the store and they'd let you wash your hands with it and it felt so good and my stepmom bought it and had it at her apartment. <laughs> dogs everywhere um but this really reminds me of that so i don't know if it's just like a nostalgic thing for me it's just like a little tiny self-care that you can have throughout the day i feel like as i age my hands are aging and i don't want them to look crazy so if i have it right next to the sink and i just put it on sometimes like every couple days you definitely don't want to do it every day i feel like that's too much and it has like a really moisturizing feeling after you're done so this is in the scent elderberry flower and raspberry my dogs are being crazy I think they just moved the camera so we are gonna be done thank you if you made it to the end through me not freaking being able to breathe I just feel like a hot freaking mess over here I love you guys so much for those of you who are not pregnant who don't plan on being pregnant who just want to like learn about beauty shit and you sat through this I really love you thank you so much I do not mean to be like the annoying girl who's like I'm pregnant I'm pregnant but like I'm just telling you why things are different, you know what I mean? So, thank you guys so much for watching. I will link all of this down below. I'm going to go edit this and chill with them, and I will talk to you guys very soon. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos. Thank you again. This is so ridiculous. Oh my god, I need to do like a blooper reel at the end of how many times I couldn't catch my freaking breath right now. <sighs> <sighs> baby G, I'm already out of breath because of you. I'm on my third product. I have 14 products, you guys. <laughs> like, oh. Uh. Gosh, this is so funny. It's so funny what happens to your body, like I'm telling you. I feel great, but just little quirks like this are a little bit frustrating. <laughs>